year one. So today's art activity focuses on making different lines using different media. Now as an artist when I use the term different media I mean creating your art using different resources. So today I've got a normal pencil, a colouring pencil, a biro pen, a highlighter and a felt tip pen and we're going to look at how we can make different lines using those different medias. Now, this lesson builds upon the video that Miss Stewart recorded for you, which was exploring how to create different lines by pressing down hard with your pencil, by including more movement in your wrist. Today I'm going to recreate those lines using different art resources. I'm going to start with my pencil. I might start with a zigzag, just pressing quite lightly for that one I think. I'm going to swap to my colouring pencil and do some loop-de-loops -loop using more movement in my wrist. Oh. I'm going to switch to my highlighter pen now. I'm going to try and do some smaller movements, so perhaps some swirls that are more close together that just involve me moving my fingers. I'm moving my wrist a lot less. Let's see, what else have I got to use? my felt tip pen. Now as you can see I've used four different types of media so far. Now you all create different effects. You can see my felt tip pen the most clearly because it's the darkest colour and because I press down harder. Here you can see this pattern, my swirly line, it's much more close together, creates a different effect, and I've got my coloured pencil here. I chose not to press very heavily with my pencil, so it's created a lighter colour. Now, if we were at school, we would have lots of different art resources to use. We might choose to use pastels or different types of paints. Whilst we're learning from home, we need to be more creative. So I've just found these from around my house, but there are lots of other things you could do to create different types of line. For example, you could use your finger in some flour. You could use leftover pasta sauce on your plate. You could do some mud painting outside with your adult's permission. You could use water on the pavement. I'm going to include some of the ones that I had a go at so you can have a go too. So I've gone through with you some of the different media that you might use to create different types of line. Your challenge is to see what you can find in your house to create your lines. Now I've done it on a piece of scrap paper, it could be the back of an envelope, it could be in one of your exercise books. That is completely up to you. Can't wait to see what you get up to!